Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'll be brief. Uh, welcome. I have the media barracks in my district. They do a fantastic job, and I'm ple very pleased to see that they're looking to build a new building. It's, a, it's sorely needed, uh, but they do a great job. I want to give them a shout out. I have a couple questions on the radio system, uh, the statewide radio system. Have you had an opportunity to become familiar uh, with the coverage, some of the coverage problems, and do you think the current system could be made more reliable, and does this budget have the resources necessary to do that? You know, uh, historically, if you look at, uh, for law enforcement, sort of one of the priorities is always communications. And on every incident that ever occurs, every major incident that ever occurs, the, the, the number one question always is, was law enforcement, was public safety able to communicate? You know, I think if you look back historically on, on what Pennsylvania has spent on a radio system historically, a huge amount of money has been spent historically to try and get uh, uh, the, the, the appropriate radio system here, and I still don't think we're at that point right now. Uh, currently, we're in the process of uh, reviewing um, proposals for radio systems to determine what the best thing is for the state of Pennsylvania. Um, I, I think an important point to note is that, you know, the, all the past work on this has not gone for, for naught. You know, there are the, the most expensive part of a radio system is the physical structures, the infrastructure that has to go in place all across the state. So there's a huge amount of that funding already been spent that's already going to be able to be used for the next systems. So, you know, the panic that this is again going to be, you know, the, similar to what the state has spent in the past, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, that's not the case. The, the new systems will be able to use a great deal of the infrastructure that's already in place, towers and those type of things. So I think as we move forward with that, I think that's going to be something that we'll be briefing out to the legislature on where we stand on, on the proposals for the next system moving in. But, but again, um, uh, I do think there is a lot that needs to be done. Coverage for troopers and, and law enforcement across the state is still a struggle. And do you think this budget has the necessary resources to accomplish that? Yeah, I think we've received a commitment from uh, the governor's office that, you know, once we determine what the best system is moving forward, that funding will be available. Okay, and, and I, I'd like to talk to you a little bit further about this, because I think going forward, yeah, but prior to coming to the legislature, I was on Delaware County Council, I was in charge of our 911 system, and it's just like our cell phones, the technology changes constantly, and you're never done. You always have to look to put more into it to make it better, more reliable, because it's, it's our troopers need it in order to, you know, do what they do day in and day out. So thank you. Great. And just so you know, you know, coming into Pennsylvania, it's great to know that so many legislators are familiar with this issue and are very supportive of it. And we do all appreciate that. One last thing, given your 25 years of experience in, in, other, in other areas, have you seen systems that are better? Do you have an idea of something or, or how we could upgrade our system? Do you have specifics or you're still looking yeah, at that? I, I think across the country, there's a lot of examples of better systems that are in place. And I think those are the systems that we're looking at now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, great.